One day ago, I could have sworn she was the last girl on earth who could do something like this. How could a person look you in the eyes, tell you she loves you, talk about marriage and kids, and promise you the world? Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition to the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. Today's video, found out my girlfriend of one and a half years has been cheating all along. This video has some good lesson guys on why if you're exclusive, you need to keep a close eye on your girl if she insists on weekly or monthly girls' night out, which you are not invited to. I can't tell you the number of stories I've done where it doesn't end well. And if you are leading your relationship, and you should be, you must take a firm stance regarding the girls' nights out, as they can often lead to infidelity. Additionally, Take note on some of my thoughts on how to handle such a situation we're about to cover. My girlfriend of one and a half years fell asleep with her phone unlocked while I was still working. I took her phone to plug it in and the notification popped up. Some guy I've never heard about asking if she was alone. I went through the chats and it Turns out she's been hooking up with that guy for a few months during her girl's night out. Slap to the back of the head. If you are leading your relationship, and you should be, you must take a firm stance regarding girl's nights out, as they can often lead to infidelity. I dug deeper checking any other male DMs. Turns out that for the whole duration of our perfect relationship, she's been hooking up with a variety of different men. Some were total strangers she met on Instagram. Others were long-term friends that she occasionally fornicated. And there was even a married guy that she's been fornicating regularly. She was also disrespecting me and sending them our private chats, complaining and seeking comfort when we had a fight or something didn't go well for a few days. One day ago, I could have sworn that she was the last girl on earth who could do something like this. How can a person look you in the eyes, tell you she loves you, talk about marriage, and kids and promise you the world and then do such a disgusting thing. I can't even be angry right now. I'm just shocked and can't really realize what I've seen. Okay, important lesson here guys. This is the guy she has settled for. Her sweet, dependable, nice guy and simp will do anything for her and she knows it. This situation, often a result of a guy who has seen little experience with women. He has seen one too many rom-coms and thinks he's won the lottery when a girl he thinks is out of his league pays him the slightest attention. From the beginning, I'm willing to bet she knew he was way more into the relationship than she was. Usually, men like this are the first to say, I love you, and where are we going with this? No, 
always let her, after six months or more dating, be the one to bring up the exclusivity discussion. This is the moment you make the boundaries clear. Do you want to be exclusive? Okay, here are the terms, and don't negotiate. No or limited girls night out should be one of them. If we're going to be exclusive, honey, then we need to stop acting like we're single. At which point, she will shite test you. Don't fight over it. Don't respond. Just say, well, those are my terms. Uh, let me know when you're ready to be exclusive. Do not give her drama. Just be calm, firm, stoic. If a woman doesn't respect you, she can't love you. Do you think his girlfriend respects him? Type yes in the comments if you think she does. Or type no, give me a thumbs up if you think she does not. I'm sorry, my brother, but you are in a classic alpha fox beta bucks situation. You're the guy who does and pays for all the maintenance and the other guys, the alphas, get all the fun that she isn't giving you. Additionally, you can count on the fact her girlfriends knew about it and were covering for her too. We both have very important exam phase right now. Slap to the back of the head. Who gives a flying fornication? Kick her ass to the curb immediately. If she lives with you and is not on the lease, then let her come home to a changed set of locks and her stuff packed up and on the doorstep. Then, the moment she finds out, do not open the door. Do not talk to her. Block her on everything. Also, I hope you recorded or sent yourself copies of the proof of her cheating because the next step is to send out one massive group post, text, carrier pigeon, include some of the proof, and let everyone know why it's over. Remember, gentlemen, always control the narrative because when given a chance, she will lie. Let us remind you, gentlemen, of the concept of kryptonite for women, accountability. She will make false claims. She will play victim and make you out to be the bad guy. Send the proof because unless a woman is standing over the body with a smoking gun in her hand, they all want to believe it's your fault for her bad choices. We both have very important exam phase right now and a breakup would fornicate everything up. So I choose to pretend like nothing happened, but it's eating me up inside. I'm so disgusted. She tries hugging and kissing me and tells me she loves me so much all day. Yes, because you stopped being the simp she knows you to be. She is working harder at manipulating you and getting you back under her control. I don't know how to even approach this situation. She was so perfect for me. Slap to the back of the head. She was never perfect, and this is in part the mindset she's taking advantage of. She was so perfect for me, and I was never happier than the last few months, and I hate myself for checking her phone. If only I didn't know what I know now. On one hand, I hate her with every cell of my body for doing this. And on the other, I feel so surreal I can't imagine myself just breaking up with her. What's the best way to approach this? Okay, brother, I'm sorry, but I'm going to give it to you straight. You're weak. You are feeling bad for shite you shouldn't feel bad for and for making and you're making emotional excuses for her. She lied, she cheated on you, and as I have laid out, kick her to the curb. Once a cheater, 
always a cheater. Do not give her closure. Do not give her conversation. And put what she did on blast with proof. If you don't, I promise you, she'll make up a story to make you out to be the bad guy. By the way, expect calls and texts from her friends, her family. Make it clear there will be no reconciliation. Do not let them shame you, intimidate you, uh, question your manhood for not taking back a lying, cheating 304. There will be no conversation with them, and if they talk smack, block their butts too. Next, get a voice activated recorder and keep it on you at all times. Why? Because she and or her friends will ambush you somewhere along your day. You'll need to record that, in that conversation and encounter just in case they make claims about things that didn't happen to the police. Think of it as your possible get out of jail free card. If she shows up with your, at your door, don't open it. Do not engage. If you have to, let the police deal with her, not you. In the comments below, give this brother from another mother your thoughts, suggestions, and advice. I'd love to see a great conversation about what can be done or what you have done in your situation in the past. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this video with at least three friends who you know really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by, and I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online and you think I should cover it, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my occasional meme, or it's best if you subscribe to my local Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and this support helps me make more content for you.